What's up, you guys? This is Mary with Life Priestess Intuition. It's not a reading. It's not a reading. Um, tomorrow is tentatively my big, big day, my child custody battle court hearing. Tentatively. Tomorrow, Monday, July 25th of 2022. It's also my birthday. I'll be 39 years old, for anybody doesn't know. So if everybody could just keep me in your thoughts, well wishes, prayers, meditations, whatever you do on the spiritual side or spiritual and religious side, I very much appreciate it, you guys. Um, I'm a really good mom. I'm not an unfit mom by any stretch. I'm not a drug user, never been. I'm not an alcoholic, I've never been. I pay my mortgage every month. I've never left my kids homeless. I've never, um, my kids have never been without. I have went without to provide for my kids. Um, my grass isn't five foot tall. I mean, my kids have sufficient supplies in my home for them to reside here. So I don't even feel I should be in this situation to begin with, but yet I am. So, and this isn't the first rodeo with my ex-husband, for anybody who doesn't know. I've been talking about it all week because I want to let all my subscribers know because my kids are my world. They're my world. They always have been, period, point blank, bar none. Anybody that knows me knows that. That's why I had to cut my toxic family off years ago because they were being so like overstepping boundaries and so intrusive and so nosy um, about me and my kids' lives. And that's why I was like, what? I'm not asking you a million freaking questions. Why are you asking me? So um, anyway, so it's not the first rodeo is what I'm trying to say with him. He oversteps his boundaries too. And that's just damn true. Um, it's at least court battle five if not six or seven with him a little back history i'm not talking about this court battle i'm talking about the back history here it's at least five if not six or seven but um the first couple times were child support adjustments because i when i became an rn registered nurse uh registered in the state of alabama in 2013 started practicing in 2014 um there were child support adjustments because his his wife at the time was not a registered nurse so I understood that, which we don't base it on the other people's incomes anyways, even though I'm single and he was with somebody, but I didn't fight it because I, I get it, you know, but he didn't really care that I was one income. He didn't care. I was in one income. He cared less about that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I thought that was very, um, not thoughtful, but I'm not the courts and i'm not unsympathetic you know what i'm saying so anyway so it, it it was what it was but then after that like for example two years ago he accused me of child abuse he had my older sister go into the court of law and testify against me that was two years ago child abuse claim six years ago i had a boyfriend at the time and my daughter was about 10 and he basically bought her a phone around that time directed her to walk around with this phone in my rented space at the time. Of course, this is my home now. I've been paying mortgage on it for five years. First time home buyer here. But six years ago, I lived in the country about 45 minutes away. And he, um, in a rented space that I rented um, from a landlord out there in the country. And he directed her to walk around in my rented space at the time with the camera. On. It was some kind of streaming device. I don't know if it was Google Duo or any other streaming device, but he had her walking around, directing her where to go. I'm chillaxing, chilling in my space. I look up and his face is right there in the freaking camera on the streaming device. It was so creepy and weird. And that's just the truth. So tr was, this is the truth. And he had her take pictures of a drawer I put, I made for my boyfriend at the time for his belongings to put in there. And his toothbrush and toothpaste and things of that nature. So when he traveled over to my home, which was, he lived about 45 minutes away, he, he could have something to take a shower or do his thing or what have you to prove his evidence in the court of law that I was contempt of court because he was all about following the court papers, following the court papers, following the court papers. But yet he wants me to follow the court papers by every T and I and dot and blasey, 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 but he doesn't do it. So, I mean, where is the hypocriticalness in that? If anybody needs to, you know, hear that. I mean, I'm serious. If anybody is interested in this, if anybody's interested, if you're not interested, you're not interested, you can click off. But 
I love my kids with everything in me. Every ounce of my being. Every ounce. Every ounce. And I've raised them by myself for a really long time. A really long time. On all, just on income that I've earned. No help and support from the government. No help and support. No food stamps. No Medicare. No Medicaid. No um, uh, Section 8. No um, what have you, what have you. I have gotten WIC before, but they were real little. And I got utility assistance one time when I lived out in the country. But other than that, no assistance. Period. Point blank. All on me and my income what I bring in and what I earn. So, and he, I mean, it's just very unfair. I feel it's very unfair. We're currently under the McClendon standard right now, which protects single people. Um, but I'm going to go in there and I'm going to tell the truth tomorrow and I'm just going to pour my heart and soul out and plead my case because I'm not a bad mom. I'm not a bad mom at all. At all. If they have appointments, I can take them to appointments. If they have, I mean, they don't miss medical appointments, uh, counseling appointments, mental health. They don't miss anything. If, unless there's bomb threats. We've had bomb threats before, but i that's not in my control, you know. But if I am able to do it, I do it. Period, point blank for them. I want nothing but the best for my kids. But they are my kids. And from when my daughter was a little conehead baby, they're They've been my kids. And my little man was a big, fat linebacker. He looked like he was freaking three months old and he was a day old. He was the second biggest baby born in that hospital that day. He was Fort Worth uh, General Hospital in Texas. But um, anyway, so yeah, if everybody could just keep me in your thoughts, prayers, well wishes, and meditations, I very much appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Um, if you're interested in my story, just please keep me in your thoughts, prayers, well wishes, and meditations. It's tomorrow, so I it's just on my mind today. It's way well on my mind, and today's my son's birthday, so I'm just going to take him out for birthday dinner when they get back. And because I'm just sitting over here thinking of why the hell I'm in this situation and hot mess to begin with. Why he keeps bringing me back and bringing me back and bringing me back and draining my money and draining my money and draining my money and draining my money. If you really want what's best for your kids and for your ex-wife, knowing she doesn't go out and leave them there by themselves at all hours of the day and knows she provides for them and knows they have clothes on their back and food in their mouth and a house to come home to, you'd leave her the hell alone and quit keeping her out of legal fees. You would think the same, normal, sane people would, but no, not him. And that's just the truth. I mean, that's not defamation of character. That's just the truth. All right. I love you guys. Namaste.